Well, hello everybody. And I guess you can tell what we're doing today. We are cycling along the coast and we've come about five miles along the coast from Benicassim. It's uh, back that way. That's where we are over there. We're about five miles along and we've ridden our bicycles and parked them just over there. And just beyond that, up on the main road there, all along that bit there, you can see there is a free uh, motorhome camping area. It's, a, it's essentially a huge car park um, set out for motorhomes. It's absolutely rammed full at the moment, um, but we've stopped there just to see what it's like. It's five miles along the coast from Benicassim or Bonterra Park and the beach is absolutely stunning look at the views here it's all very very nice indeed um, the breeze is a little bit cold um, so we're thinking we should have really worn gloves to keep our hands warm while we're stretched out on the got our hands bare on the bicycle but um, we're doing okay it's not too bad it's a bit cloudy today you might be able to see that up there lovely lovely scenery though and Pippin <laughs> absolutely loves the beach. Here, let's have a little look at what she's doing. Pips, Pips, come on. Good girl. Good girl. Where's mummy? another mile and a half down the road we found another air uh, here it is and this this one has uh, toilet emptying facilities and water and washing sort of facilities um, just in the in the middle of the place there so there's quite a few spaces uh, two four six eight ten maybe 30 maybe maybe 60 maybe 60 places here but it's full and there are um, as you can see a couple of people waiting in the roadway as well as the road comes from that way comes down here but we think there might be um, more camping spaces down that way as well so uh, there you go what do you think of the bike so far Wend? 10 out of 10 <laughs> no problem oh. What do you think, Pippin? You've been a very happy girl today. Here's Pippin in a basket. Look. She wants to get out now we've stopped. Mm. We've yeah, given her sure, yes. today, because it's a bit chilly, yes. we've given her an extra blanket. Yes. Um, so the no wind had come has, through there. Which has yeah. made quite a big difference, actually, um, in that she's not squealing so much. I think last time when we came out, she was squealing quite a bit, like crying. Um, and we thought it was because she was in the basket, but maybe it was because she was cold. She does get quite cold, doesn't she? Yes. Pips. I did have a jumper on her, but I don't know why, but oh. she seems happier with it all protected yeah. like this. So we're going to sort of move on and see what else we can find. So we're cycling on our way back. Uh, <laughs> the footage here might be a bit uh, joggly because I'm holding my iPhone trying to film and ride along at the same time when he's riding along next to me yeah. you multitasking <laughs> yeah <laughs> um but let's uh let's just turn the camera around and show you some of the cycle riders we go along
outside of Lidl's um, <laughs> and from the air at the at, I think it's called Grau um, it is 6.6 miles to the car park at Lidl's and uh, it's only taken us probably half an hour uh, to get from down there to here very very nice cycle paths as you will have seen Wendy's now gone in to do a bit of shopping so uh, yeah we've had a nice day out and Pippin wants a cuddle now don't you Pips mm. <laughs> anyway that's it for today we're going to see you again soon. Thanks for watching.